Hello, check, check, one, two. All right, we're good now. <laughs> okay, I said a whole hello, what's up, guys? I am streaming, making a front runner video. This will be interesting. And then nothing happened. And then I realized my microphone wasn't on. <laughs> well, it was on, it was just set to the wrong thing. Anyways, all right, this is going to be a very interesting video, uh, stream rather, um, as Brandon said, because, well, I haven't really ever. Well, I, I was about to say, I haven't really ever done a stream in um, this format wherever I'm doing, like, you know, showing my computer and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> I have a very clean desktop, I know. I only, um, I only have essentials on here, you know, some of which that aren't really so essential anymore, like uh, this. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get started. So I... I have a couple files prepared to make, to add beats to. Um, we're going to start with DS Peach Gardens. Um, DS Peach Gardens has... It has a very interesting thing going on with it. It's, um, it's in a 3-4 meter. Can you guys hear me over the music, by the way? Probably not, if I had to guess. I may need to turn my desktop volume down. Let's try now. Yeah, that that's probably a better volume. All right, so we're gonna I'm gonna add beats to DS Peach Gardens first, uh, and then I have another one here that we're gonna add beats to as well. But we're gonna do Peach Gardens first. The music was much louder. Louder. Okay. What is it good now? I feel like I'm speaking over the music. Okay, that's good. Great, great. I feel like it's it's loud on my end. It's not loud on you guys' end, but it's loud on my end. So I feel like I'm trying to speak over the music. All right, anyways. So what we're going to do is... Oh, I forgot to link Audacity. Shoot. <laughs> anyways, uh, if, you're gonna, if you're interested in this sort of thing, then you're probably going to already have Audacity on your computer. But anyways, I use Audacity for this. Specifically, an older version of Audacity because, well, Audacity has been doing some sketchy things lately. But anyways, so what we're going to do is first we need we need this in just in some format to get to um, Audacity. So if you're if you're doing this with um, video game music, you probably want some way to convert your files to WAV or MP3 or something so that Audacity can open it. But anyways, so. What I usually do is I will put my file in Audacity, or I'll just play it in FUBAR or something, and I need to find a tempo of this, and we can just go ahead and figure that out right quick. I did not do a good job of setting this up, I just realized. All right, well, I use this website. I don't have the website open. Great. Uh, <laughs> I use this website called vocalremover.org and it has a tap tempo on it. You can tap the tempo with the space bar. I'm so confused. Okay. What is going on here? All right. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. My audacity is being very interesting. All right. Now that's going through. All right. <laughs> Usually I will play it here, then go over here. And I will tap the space bar to the music until I get a proper beat. So I see here that we have, excuse me, we have 103 beats a minute for this. So what we're going to do now is I should just have a folder open on my other desktop. That would be way easier. And then just drag stuff over. <laughs> All right, what we're going to do now is I link something in the description. Well, I link two things in the description. I linked LMMS, I think is what it's called. It is a open source. What's it called? It's an open source digital audio workstation. So I use this to make my front runners. 
and I linked a project file as well in the zip file. Um, what you're going to want to do is take this stuff from the front running, um, front running zip. You can just leave this here, but you'll want to take these samples and copy them and open your LMMS folder that is in your documents. If this folder doesn't exist, just launch the program once and it'll create it. And then you're going to want to paste these in the samples folder. I already have them here, but you're going to want to, that's what you're going to want to do. Because otherwise this file that I have prepared won't actually, <laughs> it won't actually read the, uh, won't actually read what it needs to. It'll probably throw you an error or something. So... This is very interesting because DS Peach Gardens, as we have heard, is in a three time signature. Let me make sure my voice is synced up with the audio before I start doing anything weird. Alright. You can you can hear how the music's kinda going like one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. It's not in four, it's in three. And this front runner beat, it's it's in four. So we need to make one that's in three. <laughs> I I um I don't know why I picked Peach Gardens. I was just like, you know what, Peach Gardens is stuck. Well, it's it's the what I have in my freaking description all the time. I'm like, all right, well, how do I pick songs? It's whatever's stuck in my head. And Peach Gardens was stuck in my head, so I was like, I'll add Beast of Peach Gardens, but. It's in three. <laughs> so we're going to have to make a beat for three. Uh, so I don't really need these. What you can do, I think, is middle click. Yeah, you can middle click to delete these. And anyways, we had our tempo earlier. Our tempo was 103 beats per minute. And this is actually in three. So you wanna, you're going to want to change this top number if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, rather. If you don't know what you're doing, just change this top number to how many beats are in a bar. Uh, in this case, it's three. So um, we can go ahead and make this a four bar beat. If you want to, um, it will have this, whenever you open this, it'll have this green bar at the top. This is um, what is going to loop between. Um, so what you're going to want to do is to hold the Alt key down and right click drag this to however long your loop is going to be. This does not matter if you're just doing what I have like set up already. Like if you're just using the um, four bar beat, then you're not going to need to do this. You can just export it. But anyways, we're going to make a beat because that'll be interesting. <laughs> So this is going to be in three. As you can see, we have three subdivisions of four per bar. We're going to want this symbol, the snare, and probably this. Each of these are different instruments. Uh, yeah. So this is going to be the kick drum. This is going to be the... It's going to be this, this symbol thing. This symbol thing basically plays... You're going to want to mirror these two. This kick and symbol basically need to be doing the same thing. I'm just going to loop it between this. Uh, oops. I'm just going to loop it between this first bar just to demonstrate. So what I'm probably going to do is add a snare on beat 2 just to emphasize it. Nah, that's not going to work. I was going to try and sync these up, but anyways... So then I'm going to add some symbols on the upbeats. So that'll be good. And then I'm just going to, I think I'll just repeat this pattern for the four bars. Probably a more efficient way of doing this other than what I'm doing. <laughs> you can probably just copy paste these between the bars, but I'm not that familiar with this program, so bear with me. <laughs> but now we have this um this loop, this thing going over four bars. So I think 
the song has four bar phrases. We can go ahead and double check that. One, two, three. 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 One, two, yeah, that's the next phrase. All right, so it's going to be four bar phrases, so we can probably just do something cool with that. What's my favorite Mario Kart track? I don't know. There's a lot of good ones. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is maybe add a snare on the backbeat there. You can, um, what I typically do is make this, make these like funky rhythms um, a lower volume. Yeah, so you can, you can, Preferably, you need to use a mouse for this. That way, you can have access to the scroll wheel because you can use the mouse wheel to set the velocity of the step, which basically means volume in this context. So I will... Uh, what you can do is double-click this to bring up this funky menu. And you can... Oh, come back. I lost it. Maybe you can also just click to get to it. Yeah, open in piano row. All right, so where is my thing that I just added? Hello. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. Uh, I don't know why the... There it is. All right, so this little thing right here is the velocity, and I will typically make these around 50% velocity. That way it's just kind of a weaker beat that you're kind of going through. Yeah, so what we're going to do now is make this a little bit more interesting somehow. We're going to just kind of mess with this. Maybe. What is the, what is this doing? Let's get to like, let's get to like here. I want to do like a something like that's kind of like I don't know I'm not good at like beatboxing or percuss making percussive sounds with my uh, I don't know I'm not good at vocalizing this but I want I want like the ending to go one two three bop 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 or something like that so let's do that'll be Maybe that, maybe that'll work. Yeah, that's it, but that's not on the right thing. I want it to be here, right? Maybe, I need this to be on a wood. Mm, that's getting close to what I'm thinking of. Maybe I don't need that thing there. All right, so I need... Hey, Yoshi32, welcome. Mm, that's that's close. I'm, I want, like, the ending to go... Bop, bop, bop. And then that next thing is the downbeat of the... That's it. This will do it. Yeah, that's it. All right, that's what I was thinking of. So this will go like. Uh, I really wish I could sync the music to this, but we'll find. We'll see how it works whenever we get to it. Maybe add an extra thing there. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, so we're going to make sure we're going to go ahead and make the velocity of these last couple beats. Less. Why is it only opening? This is weird. Why is it only opening the first couple bars? I want this whole thing. Hey, 
Anyways, I have no idea why it's doing that. But these are all... That will be... Oops, not this one. I won't say the 100. This goes down to 50. It moved on to the next thing. Why are you like this? All right. These are all on 50%. And so is this one. All right, so what does our beat sound like? Hey, what's, what's up, Siege? And NGT. I didn't realize you guys were here. Yeah, I'm finally using LMS. LMMMMM. Yeah, whatever name it is. <laughs> I decided to... I, I transitioned to this one because I'm on my computer, too, because it's uh, easier to use, I think, than GarageBand. But, you know... GarageBand was what I used to use. I use this now. And I, I, I was trying to learn how to use this um, effectively. That way I could um, make a tutorial for this. So I'm actually going to do something a little bit creative here. We're going to add an extra snare hit here. That's way too long. Need that to be on the there. Yeah. Well. Well, it wants to be a certain length apparently, but I wanted I wanted something like that. That way I could have a little a little riff going into that next bar. I want that to be just a little bit quieter than the first beat. Oops, this program is a little bit finicky. Anyways, that looks weird, but it's going to sound cool. Yeah, look at that. All right, cool. So this is going to be what I'm going to use as the main theme, I guess. So we're going to go ahead and export this. Um, I usually just work in my downloads folder where you just want this to be in the general same location as where your actual song file is. So I'm just going to call this front runner beats dot wave. And this is an important menu. So what you want to what you're going to want to do is leave all these settings as is. There's some settings here that say export as loop and export between loop markers. In my experience, this doesn't work very well. It like cuts off some of it and if you just like you'll see what i mean whenever we get into audacity but um these right here it kind of mess things up so just leave them unchecked and hit start and it'll export that so what we're gonna do now is now in audacity we want to generate a new or add new stereo track and go to the start of it and generate a rhythm track at 103 beats per minute. And I usually set this to an absurdly high number, like 200, just to fill up the rest of the song. Yeah. And I will just select this, select the rest of this, hit Control K to get rid of it. And that way we have... This is actually in 4, so it's not the right thing. <laughs> All right. Forgive me on that. This track needs to be the same time signature as what we have. So we have three beats per bar, not four. That should line things up. I'm just going to double check that I got the right tempo here. This is actually starting on like an upbeat or something weird. Well, actually, I'm just going to paste this rhythm when the actual song starts. Yeah, so like here. There's my marker. All right, this starts like around like here. All right. And as we can see... 
we have a little bit of desync going on. So this song isn't actually right at 103 beats per minute, so let me go double check what my tempo I got for this was. Go ahead and just mute this. It looks like it wants to sit between 103 and 104, so like 103.5. Well, unfortunately, our frontrunner beats um, thing does not like decimal places. I cannot even type the period symbol. So what I usually do if I have a song that is in a decimal time signature is I will just change the speed of the song, and I want to make sure you hit change tempo and not change. Excuse me, and change tempo, not change speed. But we want this to go from like 103.5 to 103. All right, let's make sure that this lines up properly. Sometimes when you change uh, tempos of songs, it doesn't exactly, yeah, it like pushed it back just a little bit so I want to delete this to line it up all right sounds like we've got a steady tempo throughout that is good let me pull up chat chat went away from me all right um maybe the next season of Mario Kart tour we'll have DS mushroom what? <laughs> what are you even talking about? <laughs> DS Mushroom Corniche and Wii Super Macho <laughs> Mont Coco. <laughs> what are you even on about, dude? What version of DS Peach Garden is this? This is the Wii version, so it's the most up-to-date version. All right, so we have ourselves the actual... Well, we have the song at a steady tempo. So what we're going to do now is a bit weird. As you can see, this frontrunner beats file has a little bit of a blank space at the end of it. So this is honestly a really bad example for a tutorial, <laughs> but bear with me. Uh, let me go ahead and move these beats. This I keep zooming out instead of zooming in. What is wrong with me? All right, let me go ahead and move these beats to the start of this rhythm track here. All right, cool. So what we're going to do, you can probably guess, is we're going to try and clip off this the end of this file right at the start of the next downbeat. So what I do to do that is to just use my arrow keys to move that little marker as close to this as possible. And then just select the rest of it and delete it. And you once again, you delete stuff by hitting control K. All right, so that gives us Still not a great example, because this isn't starting by itself. I keep zooming out. Can I stop zooming out? <laughs> Scroll up to zoom in, BL. All right, so we're going to want this to be... Can I, like, create a clip marker here, actually? That would be helpful. Clip boundaries. Split. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. 
Now I can select this section. I keep zooming. <laughs> At the one time I want to zoom out, I zoom in instead. All right. So I'm going to select this section and just like copy paste it over and over all the way to the end of the song. And we want to make sure that they're still staying in line with that rhythm track there. All right. Can I go ahead and join these clip boundaries again? Don't need this anymore. And now we have a decent idea of what Peach Garden's front running sounds like. I'm going to go ahead and change my audio settings for a second here. Because I have... I have a little bit of a bass boost going on with... Yeah, I have a little bit of a bass boost going on with this audio mixer here. So I'm going to make sure and get rid of that so I can have an accurate an accurate representation of what this sounds like on various speaker systems. All right, sounds good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I changed the gain over here just a little bit to see what it sounds like. So I wanna actually amplify this by like a negative 1.5, just to emphasize the front runner beats a little bit more. All right, so as you, so this is the basic idea. I have a nice front runner beat throughout the entire song now. Um, but there's this little part at the beginning. That's just kind of silent, not interesting. So let's make it interesting. Let's go back here. I'm going to go ahead and just reset. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and reset all of this. And this beginning is just a, uh, oops, I need to go back here. Wow, OK, this is actually. Why is the int okay? So this is very interesting. This first intro section is a bar of four, and then it goes into three. It has a pickup. It's like, but da 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 da. The pickup goes into the first bar. The first bar starts like here. So it goes like one, two, three, four, one. There it's, and then it starts into the next thing. So like, it's a bar of four. So we need to actually go here and change our time signature back to four. So what do we want this to be? It's only a bar, so we only need just this much. So what do we want this to be? Just throw a kick on every downbeat, because why not? Hmm, let's see here. It just kind of like has um, 16ths going throughout every bar. So it's just like one E and a two E and a... And then the next thing starts on at the end, I believe, or the upbeat. No, it just starts on the downbeat. Okay, so the three, the three is emphasized here. One, two, three... Then it goes into the next thing. It just kind of holds over to the three. So what if I just did... This is kind of crazy, but it's not. <laughs> this will be a little crazy. 
<laughs> Maybe I can get these to time right. That didn't quite time right. I actually like that. That actually kind of sounds good. <laughs> I was just like, maybe that'll work. I kind of like that, not gonna lie. I'm gonna make these a little bit... A little bit softer. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go with this as our intro. We want to do the exact same thing here and save it as a WAV file. I'm going to change the name to intro. Make sure to not click any of these. And this will be fairly simple. All we have to do is just drag it into Audacity, and it'll be there at the start. Except the problem with this here is that I can go ahead and get rid of this rhythm track. I don't need it anymore. It, remember, I said this has like a some uh, some pickups into the first bar. So we actually don't want this to be. We actually don't want this to be at the very start. We want it to start like here, I believe. It's actually here. Let me find where this downbeat is. I think it's like right as this peak as the, as the peak is here. Yeah, there we go. All right, <laughs> guys, check this out. This is sick. This is sick. I'm actually like really proud of this front runner, this front runner right now. This sounds really good. Let's go. We managed to make a good front runner in a three time signature. All right. So we want this to be this is a 10 second fade out just to let you guys know. So we're going to go ahead and select 10 seconds of 10 seconds of these this front under thing down here and go ahead and just click fade out. All right, we want all of this to be in one track. That's what I usually do. So we want to go here and mix and render down to one track. This is a bit loud, so we're just going to come here to amplify, and it'll automatically have an amplification for you to narrow it down so it doesn't ever peak. All right, so here we have it. Peach Gardens front running.
All right, there we go. Peach Gardens front running. All right, gonna go ahead and just export this as wave. Yep, we're in the right place. Peach Beats. And there we go. All right, so what if you have <laughs> what if you have a song that is just you know what if you just have a normal song like like this one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three so what if you just have a song that's in four and you want to just you know you know it's it's in four, it has four bar phrases. You want to just go ahead and add beats to it. No, don't want to bother making your own custom thing. Well, I actually have something for you. So this thing that I included here, this thing that I included with the download, let's go ahead and just reopen it here. This literally could just be, hey, Joshua, how is your day going? My day is going great, but I want to know what your day is like. All right, so let's go ahead and figure out what the tempo of this song is. All right, looks like looks like this one actually looks like this one actually sticks around. Um, what's it called? This one actually sticks around one hundred and forty eight. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and just. Change this to one forty eight. Uh. I also use LMMS. It's very simple to use. So this song is in four, so we don't have to make anything weird. We can just go ahead and do export. I'm going to just go ahead and rename this to something else so it doesn't replace the other thing. Mount. Pajama job. Same settings. Start. And go ahead and just drag these in here. Add a new stereo track. Generate a rhythm track at 148 for 200 bars. Go ahead and get rid of this access, this excess. And we're going to go ahead and line these up that we only have if BL zooms in instead of zooming out for once. All right. Get rid of that. And just copy paste it through the whole thing. There we go. Now, just like that. We have another front runner done. <laughs> this actually is a pretty low sample right here, so we're gonna go ahead and just bump that up.
I'm gonna go ahead and skip around a little bit just so I can make this a little bit shorter. we can see it just it does stay in time the entire song what song is this this song is dreamy mount pajama jaw from mario and luigi dream team is it pajama jaw or pajama -ja or what's the the pun there is like pajamas or pajamas or however you pronounce it i pronounce it pajamas so i pronounce it pajama jaw because yeah that's how it works all right so we are doing this for 10 seconds 10 second fade out. And I think the balance of this sounded okay already, so we can go ahead and just mix these tracks together. And boom. We have Dreamy Mount Pajama Jaw front running. It's that simple. <laughs> so I linked this project file in the description. This right here. All you have to do for this, if you know your song is in four and it's not in a punk funky time signature, all you have to do is set the BPM, do what I just did, you are good to go. Also, if you want, I have this extra instrument here. You unmute it by pressing this button over here on the left. This is like the Waluigi Pinball Airship Fortress extra thingy that Mario Kart 7 uses. It sounds a little bit like this. So you can use that if you want, you know, it, it just more options. I typically only use these that whenever the song has like a busier percussion part. But yeah, you did something like this, but with low HP variations, you prefer importing the song and mixing it directly in LMMS. That's another idea, but I'm not as familiar with LMMS. <laughs> and well, you might be able to do that. But, uh, you know, I only have this looping over four bars. The song itself will be, like, way longer. This may be able to just loop and go through the whole song. I haven't really messed with it too much. But that way I can have... Uh, that way I can have it just... I don't know. This just gives me more freedom as opposed to having it just looping through the whole thing. Uh, you will make your own MIDI to make a custom front runner beat. You just made a sound font file to do it. Nice. I, nice. I prefer doing this over MIDI because it gives me more control over each individual instrument. It allows me to mute things. So if I don't want this extra thing here, I can mute that. I can also mess with the pitch. Of basically everything. So, yeah. Most of the time, songs are simple enough to just go by ear and use Audacity. Yeah, that's what I usually do. So that's just a basic rundown. Well, as basic as I can make it of how I make front running videos. So I kind of just, uh, <laughs> yeah, really, if it just works, it works, right? Anyways, I kind of just spoiled you guys to what the next two front runner videos will be. So. <laughs> Yeah, for the for those of you that were here for the stream, you know, hey, you know what to expect, and you knew, and you saw the process of how they were being made. But yeah, we have ourselves two bangers to put out later.
Oh yeah. This is something uh this is this is a little off topic, but this is something I'm doing. This is something I'm doing at the moment. I I don't know if you guys are paying attention to my Discord server very much, but uh I have modded my Switch, and I'm currently trying to port over a lot of my mods. From the Mario Kart 8 Wii U to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So I can't wait <laughs> to go play online. And see every single Waluigi on a Wiggler using this <laughs> instead of the freaking Wiggler cart. <laughs> every Waluigi's gonna be riding this freaking poltergust thingy <laughs> with tiny tires. It's gonna look so funny. But yeah. Well, I do Mario Kart Arcade GP music in the future. Very possible. I haven't really played too many of the arcade games. I've only played GP2, I believe. And that was whenever, like, we used to have a bowling alley here, but there's no longer a bowling alley. It's now like a, I don't know, some kind of, some other, some random generic shop, you know. <laughs> but, uh... We used to have a bowling alley, and in that arcade, it had um, it had Mario Kart Arcade GP2. So, that is my only experience with arcade games. <laughs> GP DX is fun, the fact that it's a native Windows game. It's a native Windows game? What? Hold up. I gotta play it if it's that- I gotta play it if it's just- that's- If I can just play it on my computer. Hold up, really? Hold up, dude. Hold up. I'm gonna have to do research on this later. This is crazy. I can just play this on my computer. Wow, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna have to check that out. Because GPDX, I've heard, is like... People say it's the best Mario Kart. Like, better than the console games. And plus, I'm just, like, craving something new and fresh. So, I may have to check that out. does take setup to trick the game and to think it's on the cabinet okay well i'll have to i'll have to see anyways that'll be it for this stream i'm gonna go ahead and end this stream just to get the video uploaded i may do another stream later today with it, but if i'm just like playing something but i'm gonna go ahead and stop this stream so it can become its own separate video anyways thank you guys for showing up this was very interesting very interesting experience <laughs> i i kind i haven't really done content like this before where i just kind of go off key off script i mean everything's off script because i do streams but just kind of doing an off script tutorial thing on the stream so yeah i'll see you guys eventually make sure to subscribe so you can see that but you guys know that already. You know how YouTube works. Bye.